Since it's Mental Health Awareness Month, I thought it would be appropriate to offer some words of encouragement to those of you who are on your journey to getting well or you're just trying to manage the different challenges that you deal with every day. I can empathize because when I was a teenager, I contemplated ending my life. Many of you don't know that. But I thank God for my girlfriend at the time who intervened, got my mom involved, and she got her friend who was a licensed social worker involved and they helped me stop thinking that way. And then the faith community got involved and they helped me to develop a better self image. And as a result, I transformed into the person that I was meant to be and I began my journey and I'm still walking that same path to success today. So there are five things I want to share with you today that I believe will help encourage you to see value in your life and give you strength as you deal with the different things that you have to face every day as a result of your mental challenges. Number one, you were made in God's image. If God is intelligent, he's all powerful, he's all knowing, he has a purpose, he does great things, and he made you in his image. That means that you have those attributes of God in your own unique way. This is really important to understand. I believe there's no dumb person. I believe that everybody has value. I just think that because of the things that happen to us in life that are out of our control, it affects us. We're not as uh, successful as we can be. We're not as healthy as we can be. Those things are out of our control. But guess what? I want to share this one thing with you. It does not change the fact that you were made in God's image. Are you listening to me? That you have something of value to offer because everything that God created has a purpose. Now I have shared many times that my father has never been involved in my life. Even to this day, I don't hold that against him. I forgave him a long time ago. But a counselor once told me something that I thought was very profound. He said, even though your father has never been involved in your life, he still served his purpose. Well, when I heard the counselor saying this, it didn't go over too well with me initially. But, you know, I humbled myself and listened to what this person had to say. And he said, what if his only purpose was to bring you into this world? Now, you have to contextualize this and understand that the world is not perfect. So there is no perfect situation at birth. You could say I was a love child. My mother and father, they never got married. But anybody who has been created, they all have a purpose. And how you came into this world does not change the fact that you have a purpose. So you've heard the saying before, it's never about how you start. It's about how you finish. What do you do in between the start and the finish? That is what is most important. So you were made in God's image is my first point. The second point is that you were not created for yourself. You were created for someone else. Your life is for someone else. And even though you might be dealing with different challenges, there is someone else out there who may be going through the same thing that you're dealing with every day and they need your support. They need your encouragement. They need to know how do you deal with different things. You were not made for yourself. In fact, there's a saying that one of my um, friends always repeat to me, he says, an isolated man is a dangerous man. <laughs> yeah. Don't isolate yourself. You know, one of the best things I did was to get help. Yeah, <laughs> I got help. I talked to a counselor. The counselor gave me some tools to use. And one of the most important things that I learned from a counselor is to get involved in the lives of others, share your story, share your experiences. And by doing so, the two of you or however many people you get involved in your life, I have a lot of people involved in my life, which I'm going to get to in my third point. You will find that people need you. They need to hear about your struggles. They need to hear about your journey because when people don't hear from other people, they think they are alone. They think there's no one else going through what they're dealing with every day. And sometimes people are ashamed of that. They are embarrassed. 
as I mentioned to you when I started out this video, my wife, not my wife, excuse me, my girlfriend, my mother, and her friend got involved in my life. I needed them, plural, okay? So the third point I wanna make is that you must have five types of people in your life. So you're not for yourself, but guess what? There are people out there who are here for you. That's right, there are people out there who are here for you. And I believe in this philosophy, this is my personal thing. This is my philosophy for how do I connect with certain types of people. I'm very intentional, I'm very deliberate about who I get involved in my life. There are five types of people you need in your life. You need a risk taker, you need a challenger, you need a builder, you need a comforter, and you need an encourager. And those different types of people will do what only they were meant to do for you when you need it. Sometimes you need someone to challenge you to be better, to stop wallowing in your pity or to challenge you to go get help for those of you who don't seek help. Sometimes you need a comforter, someone when you are down and, and you just need someone not to critique you. Sometimes they don't even say a word, just, just being there is comforting and a builder to help you to start over or to, to start something or to keep your spirits high, to, to help you pick up the bricks and build your house of hope. You need five types of people. You're not for yourself, but there are people out there that are for you. And you need to remember this about your journey, right? Because that's why you can't be isolated, right? It's really important. Fourth point is that you have a gift, okay? <laughs> you know, you've heard the phrase, the two most important days of our life is the day we were born and the day we find out why. You have a gift. And I always tell people, your life alone is a gift. So you don't have to go on this mission or do all these forensics to, in order to find out whether or not you know, you have a gift. Your life alone, let's first start there, is a gift. <laughs> That's what I tell people. Your life is a gift. Now, you might have things about you that are unique to your giftedness. Like, I'm a creative professional. I've been an artist all my life. And my artistic gift has helped me to do awesome things professionally, personally, spiritually, physically. I mean, I can go on and on. And then I discovered I had another gift. I used to be very shy, very quiet, and someone brought to my attention that I can communicate well. And then there are people in my life who helped me develop that gift. And I never thought I would be speaking in front of an audience or large crowds or even in front of a camera. <laughs> I do it so naturally, it's so weird, and people don't notice about me, you know, really I'm shy. <laughs> so, but you have a gift or gifts and there are things about you that only you can do in this universe that you must exercise, you must develop that gift, you must work that gift. And that will help you as you go through this life's journey trying to negotiate with the different challenges you may have mentally. You still have a gift. You're still made in God's image. Your life is not just for you, it's for others. Okay? I want you to remember that, right? You matter. And I don't care how you think about your life and how you evaluate and critique yourself. And we always are very hard on ourselves. But you need to be kind to yourself. Because in your own unique way and all those things that you may consider to be deficits, they really are of value to someone else. Because maybe through that channel of struggle, that's where your giftedness is manifested. <laughs> I know this is different, but I'm trying to tell you today that your life matters. The fifth thing I'm going to say is really, none of this is profound, but I think I'm just trying to encourage you, and I hope it's working, I hope it's helping in its own way, is that you need to do something to change someone's life today. Not tomorrow, today. You know, one of the habits that I have is I reach out to people every day to say something positive to them. 
every day, seven days a week, I take the time to text someone, even if it's someone who doesn't care for me. I mean, I, even my enemies, I'll reach out to them. I'm trying to deposit something in someone's life. I'm trying to do something to change someone's life for the better. Because a lot of times, some people act the way they act, as you know, because they have some sort of mental health challenge. They didn't ask for it. <laughs> but instead of making it worse, maybe, just maybe, I can do something to help make their life better that day. Someone did it for me. <laughs> someone did it for me. You need to reach out to someone every day and encourage them. You need to reach out and do something nice for someone. You know, when I see strangers in public, I, I try my best to find something that would be positive. It's a risk, yeah, I know. Sometimes I open the door for someone and I just tell them, hey, I just wanna do something nice for you today. I hope you appreciate this gesture of kindness. Sometimes I tell, tell young people, I say, you know what, you all are beautiful. Just want you to know that. You're beautiful. Because I want them to feel good about themselves. I want them to understand that their self-image, it matters. It matters. It's important. Every day you need to be intentional. You need to be deliberate. You need to look for people that you can help. That's your mission every day. You're not here for yourself and someone else is here for you. I wish the world was like this. If everybody took the time to be this way, there would be no wars or heated exchanges or this unnecessary conflict. <laughs> I hope I share something that can help you. And, what, and if what I shared didn't help you, then it wasn't for you but I want you to do something, pass it along to someone else. Just give it to someone else because it's not your business to decide whether people need to hear what I said. It is your responsibility to share and encourage others, period. That's what life about, that's what life is about. And I wanna say this, everything in nature was designed to give. So when you seek to help people, remember this alone you're fulfilling your purpose. Listen, I'm Stephen Garner. Thank you for listening today. I know it's a little bit different, but I had to take a break and really focus on this opportunity to encourage you. Listen, if you haven't done so already, I want you to subscribe, like, share, comment, and do what I asked you to do. Help somebody today. Thank you. Take your cues from me and live a great life. Next cue.